Hi, I'm Jennifer Lawson, the senior author of the Hands-On Programs, and I'd like to tell you about our latest project, Hands-On English Language Learning. We developed this program as a result of teachers telling us that they were in need of resources to use with students learning English. Our Early Years program is now available, and we are currently developing a companion Middle Years program. The program has been designed to be used by classroom teachers, English language specialists, and also by educational assistants and volunteers working with students learning English. The program is based on current research in English language acquisition, and the writing team has also referred to most recent policy documents and curriculum guides from across Canada. The program is not designed for specific grade levels, but instead, the four modules in hands-on English language learning are intended to be used in a developmental way. For example, if you have a student with little or no English, you would begin using activities from Module 1. On the other hand, you may have students who have some basic language skills and therefore may be ready for Modules 2 and 3. Similarly, more advanced students will benefit from the lessons included in Module 4. In order to determine which module is the best starting place for each individual child, we've included several assessment tools to help teachers identify students' language skills. One of the strengths of the Hands-On English Language Learning Program is its link to early years curriculum. When our writing team designed the program, we ensured that as students are learning English, they are also learning academic vocabulary and content knowledge. We reviewed all of the curriculum documents from Atlantic Canada, Ontario, Western and Northern Canada and used these curricular themes and skills as the basis of lesson topics. If you look at the curriculum correlation chart in the first chapter of the program, you will see that we've focused on language arts, math, social studies, science, health, phys ed and the arts. This emphasis is based on current research that indicates that students learn new languages best in context focusing on academic vocabulary and subject area skills and knowledge. So while your class is learning about plants and animals and science, your English language learners can be supported with additional activities and resources to build their language skills and background knowledge on the same topic. Another important feature of the Hands-On English Language Learning Program is the theme we have used for our fourth and final module. In keeping with Canada's emphasis on environmental awareness and global citizenship, we've designed Module 4 with a focus on sustainable development and sustainable life practices. This module is packed full of activities on environmental issues, cultural diversity and social justice. I'm sure that you'll find that the lessons are so important and timely that you'll want to do the activities with your whole class. For those of you familiar with our other hands-on programs for science, social studies and mathematics, you will notice many similarities in the Hands-On English Language Learning Program. The program structure is much like other hands-on programs, with a few unique additions. Each lesson begins by providing teachers with an overview of curricular correlations, or in other words, how does this lesson connect to early years curriculum requirements. Next, in order to involve your whole class in the lesson topic, we include a variety of integrated whole class activities. These are learning tasks appropriate for all students in the classroom. They help solidify curricular concepts while supporting English language learners in developing academic vocabulary related to the topic of the lesson. The next part of the lesson is especially designed to teach students the English language through hands-on activities. Generally, these tasks would be done with a small group of English language learners or in a one-to-one -one setting. The instructions for these activities are clear and simple and can be easily followed and implemented by classroom teachers, language specialists, educational assistants or class volunteers. But let's say you don't have additional supports for a few English language learners in your classroom or you want to foster more student connections. For this purpose, we have also included peer activities with each lesson. These fun activities can be done independently by an English language learner and a classmate. This offers opportunities for the English language learner to be immersed in the new vocabulary identified in each lesson while allowing for a less structured approach to language learning and an opportunity to build relationships among students. And finally, each lesson includes independent activities for English language learners to work on individually. These activities also emphasize and reinforce the target vocabulary of any given lesson. 
In terms of other resources included with every lesson, we've provided teachers with a complete set of illustrated vocabulary cards for all target vocabulary focused upon in the program. These cards include a picture and a printed word so that students can make connections between representations and reading. The cards are used in many ways in lessons, such as for introducing new vocabulary, playing games, or assessing student understanding. And last but not least, like all of our hands-on programs, each lesson includes student activity sheets that focus directly on the English vocabulary and concepts of each particular lesson. This is a way of students applying their knowledge and skills through reading, writing, viewing, and representing. In terms of student assessment, again, our program is based on current research and emphasizes assessment for, as, and of learning. Each module includes assessment tasks appropriate for young English language learners and provides a variety of easy-to-use strategies and templates for teachers. The Hands-On English Language Learning Program is based on current research. It connects with early years curriculum, it's easy to use, and it offers a wide variety of educational experiences for students. I'm very excited about this new program and look forward to sharing it with educators from across Canada. And don't forget to let us know what you think. We welcome your feedback. You can reach us through the website at www.pnmpress.com.